Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem which is c plus c plus c is equal to c times c times c to find the values of c from this equation. Now, if we, check, if we just check from this our problem by inspection or by testing, we can just see c is equal to 0 because if we have substitute 0, it will be 0 plus 0 plus 0, it is 0. Is equal to 0 times 0 times 0, it is 0. So left side and right side are equal. So, but C is equal to 0 is not the only solution. We have other solutions. So, our solution. From here, C plus C plus C, it is 3C is equal to c times c times c it is c power of 3 then in the next step we'll take this 3c to the right side so it will be this which is c power of 3 this will take to this side to be minus 3 c is equal to 0 then from here in the left side c is common so we'll take c out of bracket c power of 3 divided by c it is c square minus 3c divided by c it is 3 bracket is equal to 0 then it will be from here we have c square minus 3 for this to have square we might want to make in form of difference of two squares so this 3 here 3 to have square 3 is equal to square root of 3 bracket square because this square root of square so it will be 3 which is here then it will be c bracket c square minus 3 3 we will substitute this here so it will be square root of 3 bracket square bracket is equal to this 0 then from here inside the bracket c square minus square root of 3 bracket square difference of two squares so we'll apply difference of two square rule which is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b bracket times bracket a minus b bracket so when you compare a square with c square then a is equal to c and when you compare b square with square root of 3 bracket square then b is equal to square root of 3 so from here into this our equation here it will be c then bracket here a plus b it will be c plus square root of 3 so c plus square root of 3 bracket times a minus b it will be c minus square root of 3 so c minus square root of 3 bracket is equal to this 0 then from here we have three solutions whereas first solution is c is equal to 0 so c is equal to 0 so this is the first value of c which we already know by inspection or by testing first value of c then from this second solution which is c plus square root of 3 is equal to 0 we we'll substitute square root of 3 into the right side so it will be c is equal to minus square root of 3 so this is the second value of c the third value of c from this here which is c minus square root of 3 is equal to 0 we substitute minus square root of 3 to the right side so it will be c is equal to square root of 3 so this is the third value of c so we have other values of c apart from 0 we have negative square root of 3 and positive square root of 3 now let's check these values of c to check for the first value of c which is equal to 0 from from our problem our problem was c plus c plus c is equal to c times c times c so c plus c plus c it will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 for this first value of c is equal to 0 times 0 times 0 so 0 plus 0 plus 0 it is 0 is equal to 0 times 0 times 0 it is 0 so left side and right side are equal 
now let's check for the second value of c which is equal to this here minus square root of 3 so here it will be minus square root of 3 plus minus square root of 3 plus minus square root of 3 is equal to c times c times c it will be minus square root of 3 times minus square root of 3 times minus square root of 3 so here from here square root of 3 minus square root of 3 plus minus square root of 3 plus minus square root of 3 is same as 3 times minus square root of 3 so we we'll place like this minus square root of 3 is equal to from this side minus square root of 3 times minus square root of 3 it will be positive minus times minus it will be positive square root of 3 times square root of 3 it is 3 then times this minus square root of 3 so it will be minus square root of 3 so we can see left side and right side are equal then it is true for this second solution now let's check for this third solution third value of c is equal to this square root of 3 then from c plus c plus c it will be square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 which is equal to square root of 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 so from here square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 it is 3 square root of 3 is equal to this square root of 3 times square root of 3 it is 3 then times this square root of 3 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of c is equal to square root of 3 so we already check for the first value of c second value of c and third value of c so all we have three solutions thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye